Hey, what is going on guys? Inferno LH here and today I've got a brand new video where I'm going to be teaching you how to access the data files on your device. And this tutorial will be specifically catered around accessing your Terraria world slash characters. But if you're trying to access anything on your device, any of your files, you can using this tutorial. And if you are, if you currently already have access to your, your data files, or you're just on iOS, this tutorial will still help you out. You can still follow these steps. You will just have less of the steps that you need to follow. I'll, I'll point them out later. It'll make sense. And just to show you what it looks like or what I'm even talking about, if you don't know, if you go to Android, then data, and then let's say you try to click on your Terraria, you can't. It doesn't let you access it or see any of the files in there. Apparently it gave me a notification if your device is rooted, you can access these files. But in my case, I have not rooted my device. So the first step that you want to do is grab your previous phone that has all of your worlds and your characters or files that you want to transfer over. And this phone, my previous phone in my case, I can actually still access those files if I wanted to. But what, anyways, what I'm gonna do is you're gonna wanna grab a USB cord, plug that into your PC or laptop and connect that to your phone. Uh, if you have a phone, you have a USB cable, just use the one that you use to charge your phone. And there we go. As you can see, it should say that my device is charging and you will have a notification up here that will say uh, your device is charging via USB. Just tap on that notification and you'll be brought to the settings here. And what you will want to do is select file transfer. And this will just allow you to access the files on your PC or laptop. Okay, and once your uh, phone is connected to your PC via USB cable, what you will want to do is open your files. It might have already automatically popped up with the device's files. So this right here is the SD card and internal storage of my old phone that has my Terraria files that I want to transfer over. So what you will want to do is wherever you have it stored, I actually have it stored in a separate file, uh, like a copied backup file. But if, if you don't have a backup file, just go to your internal storage, then go to Android, then data, and then go to, uh, hold on, it's loading. Uh, Terraria page right there. And your file, your players, worlds, everything for Terraria is right here. And you will be able to copy these. In my case, I actually put everything in a separate file. So here we go. What you will want to do is, uh, you can make it turn it into a zip file if you want to, doesn't matter. That'll just compress it. But what you will want to do is you'll want to save these uh, onto your uh, device. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go to, uh, just put it on my desktop. Yeah, I'll just put it on my desktop. All right. It's copying to my desktop. You could just drag and drop. This is just, just an easy way to do this. All right. And now as you can see, the zip file of my Terraria saves is right here. You can just put your worlds, players, everything on your desktop or somewhere on your PC where you can access it. Okay, so once you've done that, the next step is to just uh, unplug your phone from your computer. Okay, so now that you've done that, what you will want to do is grab your new device that you wish to transfer the files over to, which you could not do before, and plug that into your PC via the USB cable. And you will probably have to do the same thing again, where you select the notification saying your uh, device is charging. So you'll just have to tap on that and then select transfer files. And once you've done that, open up your PC's files again and you'll be able to see your phone's storage right here. So as you can see, I can see my internal storage. So you'll want to open that and I'm gonna just drag and drop since mine is a zip file i'm just going to drag and drop my zip file into my phone's storage right there so let's wait for that to copy over since mine is a zip file you may not have to do this if you didn't compress yours to a zip file uh, just extract it so that i can access them here so here's my terraria saves and 
if I open this up, there we go. I got all of my worlds and my players in here. So what you will want to do, I'm not sure if you can copy and paste the whole folder. You might actually have to go into here specifically and copy each character. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just gonna select each one. You can press and hold control to select multiple files or actually just, just, just do this, just do this. Okay, and then we'll right click, copy. Oops, right click, copy, and then we'll go back to our internal storage. We'll open up Android data, and then once it loads, we'll go to Terraria. And as you can see here, we are able to see these folders or files that we were not able to see before. Okay, so I accidentally pasted my worlds into my players folder, don't, don't do that. So let's open up our worlds, open up the worlds and then and then we can paste. Control V, wait for it to load, and then there we go. All of our worlds are pasted, and then we can go back to the starting page where our stuff is saved. Go in here, go to my players, then we will copy everything. All right, I'm not sure what some of these uh, files are here. Uh, there's some weird names in here. Anyways, uh, go back to Android, Data, Terraria, Players, and then paste our players. There we go. And you may, if you had any uh, character saves from an old update, you may have a file that's called old saves like this one. Uh, you'll have to copy and paste these into a separate file. Uh, so I'm gonna just do that real quick. Okay, so if you were wondering, how would I do this on a device where I can actually access my Terraria saves without having to use a PC, without using a PC? And to answer that is very simple. You do the exact same thing that I just showed you, except for you don't need to plug it into a PC to access these files. You'll just copy them to these exact same files just on your phone or device without using a PC. It's, it's the same exact thing. But now I actually have copied all of my characters and worlds onto my new device that I previously was not able to. So let's just go ahead and open up Terraria and we'll see that all of my worlds and players are in the game and playable now. Okay, I actually... <laughs> This is my first time trying this. I actually haven't, well, I did try it, but I never actually pasted my worlds and players. So I'm a little nervous that they're gonna be corrupted or not work for some reason. Oh, okay, they worked. They did work actually. Look, here we are. And here's all of my worlds and saves on my new, on my new phone that's not actually that new anymore. Oh, okay, notifications, achievements. But yeah, this is this is so great. I was not able to get these worlds and players on my phone for so long until now. So this is this is really great. And I yeah, I would not have been able to do this without my PC that I know of. So hopefully this video has helped you out. If you do have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out uh, with a reply. But if it did help you out, could you please like and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. I will also leave the link to my Discord server in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and join that. But anyways, that is going to be it, and goodbye.